So cleaning, unpacking is the plan for the day. So I'm very excited to try these out. morning welcome back to another video i think this is going to be moving vlog number three i kind of skipped this one like consecutively with the other two just because i wanted to like fit a little holiday vlog in there before the holidays were over but we're back to the moving content because girl we are not done with our moving stuff yet i still have boxes to unpack we're still getting like furniture delivered we're still getting settled in organized clean all the things so welcome to moving vlog number three i am finishing up my coffee from this morning today is december 29th so it's a few days after christmas and we are just i really kind of delayed like unpacking and some moving stuff for the holidays but obviously i had family in town and it was just there was a lot of stuff going on so i really just didn't like <laughs> work on moving stuff a lot so i really need to keep working on the moving stuff today otherwise i'm like just never gonna be unpacked so we're working on that today i think either today or tomorrow i'm not sure which one but i think our <laughs> I don't know if the dogs are barking. I think we're supposed to be having our mattress delivered, which I am just so excited because my gosh, y'all, like sleeping on an air mattress for a month is just not the most comfy thing. And my joints are definitely feeling it. They are so sore every morning when I wake up. So I'm like, I cannot wait to get an actual bed and mattress. So that I think is, I don't, I need to check it. I think it's either coming today or tomorrow. Hopefully it's coming today because I would absolutely love to sleep on a mattress tonight. And then definitely I still need to unpack a lot of boxes. Um, I kind of need to just, there's so much stuff like my, on my counter right now because I haven't cleaned out all the drawers. Our landlords kind of left all the drawers and cabinets like super dirty. I don't think they really cleaned them out before they moved out. So there's like, they need to be cleaned. So I probably want to clean all of that out today. Probably do some good deep cleaning to the house so that way I can actually start putting stuff away because right now I just have like everything piled on my bathroom counter and it's very overwhelming to look at and it's just super cluttery. Um, and I really haven't started unpacking a lot of things because there's so much that needs to be like cleaned first before I can really start putting stuff away. So I'm thinking that I might work on that today as well. Um, oh gosh, I kind of put a lot of that aside. So cleaning, unpacking, and getting settled in, hopefully my bag gets here today, is the plan for the day. Also, I'm using some of this typology. It is their tinted serum. This stuff is absolutely incredible i don't know if it's gonna focus is that gonna focus this stuff is absolutely phenomenal it's actually skincare that has like makeup benefits as well and then i'm also using their um, serum concealer which works so so well so i really like it it's a french brand actually i believe it's um based in paris but anyways i've really been loving it lately also you guys after like a month of living here i feel so much better like i really feel like i'm like getting back to being my normal self. Like I've been wanting to like get up and get ready, put on makeup or like even just like the simple things like showering. I cannot tell you guys how extremely difficult it was for me literally just to shower when we lived at our old house. Um, if you guys are like just watching this vlog, we moved out of a house that had toxic mold in it and it caused just like a ton of crazy health issues, chronic fatigue. I felt like I was like kind of dying every day. Um, not even being dramatic like I felt awful every day but I'm noticing the biggest difference in the smallest things like showering like at our old house it would genuinely like showering would completely take me out for the day I would like a full everything shower if I washed my hair scrub my body shaved all the things I don't even think I like shaved honestly for like the last few months because I'm like I have no energy but it would just take me out like i'd be exhausted for the rest of the day and have nothing else to give and i would literally just want to like take a nap on the couch and so because it was like so exhausting i'd probably like only do a full everything shower like wash my hair maybe like once a week which is kind of gross i know it needed to be washed more but like y'all i just did not have the energy like it was truly just such a struggle for me but i noticed that after like a week of being here and now especially after a month i have so much energy i shower like every single day i wash my hair like three times a week and i just and it doesn't take the energy out of me which is just the craziest thing like like i have energy to do stuff for the rest of the day i'm not like wiped out just from washing my hair so i was like this is so exciting because i have not felt this good in the longest time so i just honestly cannot wait to like obviously i haven't been eating super good or like drinking a lot of water just with the holidays i've been eating a lot of sugar a lot of like 
not super healthy food and which is totally okay like i'm you know it's the holidays i'm fully indulging and enjoying it but i'm like just imagining how much better i'm gonna feel whenever i'm actually eating a lot of like greens and drinking my water and making sure i'm actually taking my vitamins and not forgetting i'm like if I feel this good without them, I cannot wait to see like what I'm gonna feel like with them. So I am truly just feeling like I am really gonna start thriving and like I already am thriving a lot more than where I was like a month ago. So I am super excited for that. I am so thankful that we were able to move and I'm just so thankful to be feeling back to my normal, energetic, happy, positive outlook on life having energy to shower so. So that's a little update on how I'm doing, just in case anyone was curious. I am feeling so much better and I cannot wait to continue to like heal my body and keep feeling even better over the next like year. So I'm using some of this Merit Volumizing Brow Pomade. I have really, like my two favorite makeup brands at the moment is the Typology and then Merit. I've been using so much Merit stuff. That's also what I use. I use Merit for my bronzer and then the little like blush balm that has like vitamin E and it's super hydrating. And then this brow stuff is all from Merit. I have really been loving them lately. It just makes doing your makeup so nice, so easy and simple. And I'm, I just love it so much. It's like, I don't know, it just makes your skin look so good too. Okay, I'm just gonna do some mascara and then put on a little lip balm and we will be good to go for the day. Oh, also update on the castor oil in case anyone was wondering how this castor oil that I showed you guys has been working for my eyelash growth. I do feel like, I'm sure there's like mascara all over my lid right now. I haven't cleaned that up yet, but I do feel like my lashes are like getting a little bit longer and fuller. And I've definitely, at least one thing that I for sure noticed is that whenever I like rub my eyes or something, I'm not having like five or six eyelashes fall out so i definitely think that this stuff is helping i'm super excited to like keep using it and hopefully i have like super big massive full lashes by the time i'm done with this bottle but anyways okay you guys do not come here for a makeup tutorial let's go ahead and get started with unpacking cleaning and all of the moving things actually really quickly i did want to tell you guys where my sweatshirt was from i got this from amazon amazon gets me with like their recommended things this popped up on my for you like recommended products a month ago and i bought it because i was like oh it's cute has good reviews 100 worth it it's so cozy it's a little zip up and it has these like little cords that you can scrunch down at the bottom to make it tighter looser and then i just tuck it under um but yeah you can zip it all the way down too so you can wear it just as a jacket if you want to and it is super super cozy it zips all the way up to your neck so it's great for really cold weather today is super cold i think it's like 28 degrees outside today so i'm staying nice and warm in this but anyways in case any of you guys were wondering where this is from it's from amazon i'll have it all linked down below for you guys too what the heck are these oh wait are they like for cooking utensils that is so cool i have never seen one of these before i swear there's like so many little random cool things about this house like features that they put in so cool, oh my gosh, yeah, this one is so dirty. Let me show you guys how dirty this is. It is like pretty marked up in there, pretty dirty. That needs a good cleaning. And then I'll show you guys, I think it's this one too. That is like super dirty. So I'm like, that is disgusting. And needs to be cleaned before I put any of my own stuff in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get all these cabinets nice and cleaned out. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach that one or like the top shelves on these. I might have to have Austin do that when he gets home, but I'm gonna clean what I can. For my cleaning solution, I'm just using some Branch Basics concentrate mixed with some thieves and then some water. So it smells really nice and then it also works so, so well. I swear Branch Basics does the best job at like getting up hard stains. definitely making some good progress i got these nice and clean and there are still like a few stains in there but for the most part it is much much cleaner so i'm happy with that we probably won't put any like utensils in there we'll probably put like spices or something but got all of these cabinets cleaned got all those cabinets cleaned and then it got all of those and those as well 
couldn't reach the very top shelf, so I'll have Austin do that later. But we got the kitchen all nice and cleaned out, so now I can start unpacking and putting some stuff away. so much better got all the cabinets cleaned out put everything in there got it all nice and organized and it feels so good to finally have like cleared counters and somewhere to actually put all of my stuff but I just got a very exciting notification that our bed just got delivered so I'm gonna go bring it in and box it and then we'll get it all set up I'm so freaking excited to finally have a bed okay so here is the whole pile of all of our mattress bedding all the things I actually got my mattress from Hapsi which they're super cool because it's like organic it's non-toxic you don't have any like fiberglass or any like flame retardants chemicals anything like that in the mattress it's all just super healthy for you so I really like that because obviously you guys know with being exposed to like toxic mold I am trying to heal my body my body is very sensitive to chemicals and toxins and everything like that right now so I was super excited to find this mattress I also <laughs> should not I didn't realize that this was on here for a reason I thought the plastic wrap is what kept the mattress together apparently my brain's not working today um, because I quickly realized as I was taking this off that I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna take this off and the whole mattress is gonna pop out so um it didn't really do myself a favor there but now i'm going to try to lug this all to the bedroom because it might not look like it but this thing is heavy as heck and then we also got a bed frame i really just don't know what i wanted for like a headboard and everything so we just got like a plain white metal bed frame and i might switch it out later if i find one that i like i am so excited are you guys excited to have a bed honestly they've kind of been loving the air mattress like they both sleep <laughs> so well on it are yeah, you still sleepy Say good morning. <laughs> She's like, no, absolutely not good morning. It's my morning nap time. I swear, the sleepiest girl I have ever seen in my entire life. just laid on the mattress for the first time and the consensus is that it is the most comfortable mattress I've literally ever laid on we got the plush king mattress and then we got a pillow topper and then I also put a mattress protector on top as well obviously like with the dogs and stuff but Kaiser Duke over here is already ready for a nap see are you ready for a nap but yay we finally have a bed now I just need to wash all of our bedding and then I can make the bed and I'm so excited to sleep in this tonight okay I just got in some fun Amazon packages I'll show you guys what I got I feel like I've been trying not to buy like too much stuff for the new house, but I did get some Amazon gift cards for Christmas, so I wanted to get a few things for the house. A lot of this stuff is really actually for the laundry room because I was like, our laundry room needs help in the whole like, organization department because it is so messy right now. 
So I got a few organizational things and then some home things. I got these two black trash cans because we need a new trash cans for our bathroom. So I grabbed these little ones. It comes in a pack of two, but I like them because you just press on it and it opens and closes. So grab some trash cans for our bathrooms. And then I also grabbed some of these wool dryer balls. These are a lot better to use in dryer sheets. So I really only use dryer sheets on my darks because I use like the pet hair one that gets all the dog hair off your clothing, which is super nice for darks, but like for whites and stuff, I don't really need that. So I just got some of these dryer balls because I lost all of mine in the move. And then in this big box, I got some of this. It's like a privacy film that you can put on the window because we have this window right here, which our neighbor can totally see in and like we can see into her house. So I kind of wanted to get something that will kind of give us a little bit more privacy. So I grabbed this little like frosted glass privacy film, which is super easy to like peel on and peel off. So it's like very winter friendly. For our laundry room, I really needed something to organize all of our laundry stuff. So I got two of these glass jars that come with a bunch of like cute little labels because with our move and like being exposed to everything, we had to like, we're having to wash every single thing that we own so and you have to buy like a lot of different products for it like baking soda and borax and just like all the stuff to like kill off any potential mold spores so to help our laundry room not be a wreck i ordered some of these glass jars i also got these in yesterday for the dogs and i definitely opened the package to smell them because i was so excited for them but it's some shampoo and conditioner and it smells so so good it's supposed to be like a more natural option and it has like all natural fragrance in it it has kiwi aloe vera coconut ginseng and honey in it i know this brand has several different scents this is their scent number one but i know that they have some other scents as well which people say smell amazing but these definitely smell so good and i absolutely cannot wait to give the dogs a bath they're gonna smell so good after this and they're definitely past due for a bath so i'm very excited to try these out these are the little jars that I got from Amazon and they're so cute they're like the perfect little size for laundry stuff I feel like and I really like these ones because they come with a ton of these little labels I know it's kind of hard to see these windows have like the weirdest light it makes everything like a really weird like blue tint but it comes with a bunch of different labels and then it also comes with like this little scoop so if you use like powdered laundry detergent or any like additives this is perfect for it so I got four of these and my plan for them they all come with or I think each two pack comes with a set of labels and I think I have like 48 labels in here okay we'll do borax first I actually just recently started using borax and I don't know why I haven't been using this my whole life. Like this stuff is incredible. It makes your sheets so bright and white. Like it's seriously just the best laundry booster ever, better than OxyClean, than anything. It just works so, so well. Okay, this is how they turned out. I think that they ended up so cute. I love the little jars. I love the labels. I did also want to mention because I didn't even realize that until now, but they actually come with two sets of the labels. So you can either choose like a little translucent one like this one, or they have just solid white labels as well, which I didn't even realize until I was trying to get another one. I was like, oh wait, some of these are like solid white. So it does come with both options. If you guys don't really love like the more translucent one and you want more like opaque white, they do have that. But anyways, love the way they turned out. So I feel like it's like the little things, like whenever you get fun little organizations, stuff like now I want to do laundry just because there's like cute little laundry jars I don't know if anyone else is that way I also thought I'd give you guys a little living room update I don't think I showed you guys I mean I know you guys saw like decorating for Christmas if you guys watched that video but we also got these two little like Kaiser Dukes over here just taking his little nap but we got these two inflatable couches and honestly they're like 50 60 bucks each I think they're really not bad <laughs> definitely not going to be permanent we actually did pick out a couch we ordered a couch it's one of those like massive pit couches that you can like push together all the pieces to make like a giant couch bed basically so we're super excited for that it's gonna be like a really nice dark charcoal gray color um so I think that's supposed to come in by the end of January early February so cannot wait for that but until then I just ordered these little like makeshift couches off of Amazon so we'd have somewhere to sit so the dogs would have something to lay on and they're actually kind of cool I'll show you guys on this one so that Kaiser Duke doesn't have to get up but it also folds out Let's see if I can do this I'm not gonna be able to fold it all the way out because of our coffee table but it also folds out into like it's either like a full size or a queen air mattress bed but this thing would be so great for like a guest bedroom or if you're camping or just like a temporary couch 
it's a two in one, which is super fun. It has little like cup holders over here. So I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon. It really not bad for the price. And we've definitely been using them a lot, but I feel like it is kind of funny that at the moment, like all of our furniture is all inflatable. So definitely excited to get some actual furniture. Also, you guys, I just love our Christmas decorations so much. I really think I'm gonna leave these up until the end of January because it's just so pretty. It makes the living room like so nice and cozy. And I don't know what I'm gonna put here whenever I take them down. Cause I have this little like chair situation here, which I don't love. I feel like a bigger chair would fit better here. Maybe like some shelves or something, but I feel like I might wait until we get our couch to kind of figure out what to do there. Cause if the couch takes up like a massive part of the living room, then I don't want to put like big chairs here or something. So I might end up just doing like some shelves or I don't know, we'll see. But there's my little living room update of what's been going on over here. See, what are you doing? She's like, um, mom, it's time for my nap. This girl is always sleeping all the time.